ahead and try to sit up. Sit up into I know you can't, but go ahead and try. All right, that's it. Go ahead and try to sit up. Sit up into I know you can't, but go ahead and try. All right, that's it. Go ahead and try to sit up. Bam. Sit up into I know you can't, but go ahead and try. How many years has it been All that right, you couldn't do a sit up like this? Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a what? It's... Yeah. <laughs> One year, ten years, two years? I'd say about a year. All right. We got a little. I guess he's still Okay. So right now, again, Mr. Coleman, uh, you've had Parkinson's for how long? Three years. And you've been on medications, dopamine meds for the? Three years. For three years. And uh, one of your symptoms, one of your disabilities or inabilities was to be able to sit up from a lying position. That's correct. So in this position here on the table, in my exam room, you're lying down. And all that you've been able to do for the past year when you're lying down like this to get up was how much of the body would come up when you were trying Just to? Just probably my head and shoulders, something like this. That's about it. And then you were stuck there. That was stuck. And right. when you were trying to get up out of bed, what was your habit to get you up out I of bed? I had to either push my hands here or roll over to my side and push off. Well, push and, up. That was the only way. And that was the only way to get up. And now what are we able to do right after this exam today? Now I can get this go right up. Man. Like it's no problem. And that's the first time in? The first time in a, a good year. In a good year. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yes. He's Are you suffering from Parkinson's disease? Are you suffering from another type of movement disorder that has not been diagnosed as Parkinson's disease? Have you been taking medications like dopamine type of medications that your neurologist has prescribed to you? Have you been to many different neurologists? Have they not really been able to provide you the greatest benefit to help you relieve your symptoms associated with your condition? Maybe you're taking the dopamine medications and not really uh, feeling, experiencing, uh, or enjoying long-lasting relief from symptoms, and you have to continuously take those medications on, on a pretty regular basis. My name is Dr. Lonnie Herman, and you just saw, and I am going to show you again, this video of this man in my clinic who came to my clinic. He was born in 1960. He's had uh, a Parkinson's diagnosis for three years. He's been on the uh, Parkinson's medications for that period of time. He actually, in the past year, as you heard him say in the video, and you'll hear him say it again, that he was not able to sit up from a lying down, a supine, on his back, face up position. He was not able to sit up on his own. He was a man who was in pretty good shape before. So uh, he was able to do sit ups his whole life. And a year ago, 12 or 13 months ago, he lost his ability to sit up. And what you just saw, and you're gonna see it again, is his ability to sit up now. And that was uh, right after, during and after the examination in my clinic. I found with him, well, I'm going to say before I even tell you what I found with him, he has tremors in the left hand and right hand. He's got a difficulty with walking. He actually has a decreased, slight decrease in his arm swing uh, and uh, arm swing with walking. I will tell you, I found, which we're starting to treat in his tissues, I found dengue fever and West Nile virus and xylocaine local anesthetic and propofol general anesthetic and uh, a, a parvovirus in his lymph tissue, in his meninges. I have found that he's got xylocaine local anesthetic and uh, a sedative called medazolam and propofol general anesthetic in the corpus callosum, which is a, a sensory and motor controlling part of the brain. It integrates many different parts of the brain. I'll actually put an image up next to me here so you can actually get an idea of where this brilliant, amazing uh, uh, part of our central nervous system, which has over 250 million nerve fibers of this corpus callosum that integrates all different parts of the brain. I actually found portal virus up there and dengue fever and West Nile virus in that tissue as well. And there's some other uh, uh, different infections. I found Lyme infection in that corpus callosum. I actually found in my unique kind of examination, I found that his spinal fluid has St. Louis encephalitis virus and black mold called stachybotrys in his white matter of the central nervous system, as well as black mold in his spinal fluid, as well as 
Lyme, dengue fever in his spinal fluid, and the xylocaine local anesthetic in his cerebral, cerebral spinal fluid, including, I'm sorry, let me not leave one thing out, influenza virus as well in his cerebral spinal fluid and the pia mater layer of his meninges, the meninges that surround and protect the spinal cord and brain. The spinal fluid, as I mentioned before, cerebrospinal fluid, that's fluid that's around and throughout the entire central nervous system and throughout the entire brain, brainstem, cerebellum, all parts of the brain and spinal cord. During this examination, he started to get stronger during the exam. He's never experienced this with any doctor he and his wife has attended for his condition. Never. He's only gotten weaker over time with his medications. Again, when you watch this video, this is a real experience, real time with this real patient and his wife, as you can see in this video with me, uh, uh, getting real results. I have gone to postgraduate studies through extensive hundreds of hours of functional neurology and neurochemistry, immunology, endocrinology, very uh, uh, detailed into dental disease and the connections with uh, the teeth and the brain and the body. Uh, I've been very involved in biophysics work and uh, there's some brilliant bioresonance testing that I do that's not with a computer machine. Uh, it's very rare out there, very unique. And again, what you just saw and what you're gonna see again, cause I'm very happy to play this again, uh, is that he was amazed and his wife was totally amazed that he could actually sit up for the first time in more than 12 months from a lying down position. I look forward to helping you as well when you're ready. I have many other videos about Parkinson's disease and other kinds of conditions on my YouTube channel. Subscribe here, you'll see there's a link right here, a, a, a little uh, box, a subscribe button on the bottom of the screen here on YouTube. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see when I put up other videos. Scroll through, I've got more than 200 videos on my YouTube channel. Today is September, uh, 28th, 2018. I've got more than 200 videos on my YouTube channel. I believe that they're all worthwhile for you to watch. Many of them about Parkinson's disease and about many other conditions as well, as well as we're getting, uh, having uh, people enjoy a great experience with getting relief from chronic conditions where no doctor's been able to figure it out for them. Share this with a friend, just one friend. People deserve to know that there is a way, that there are possibilities for them to get themselves better. And, um, uh, one more point, you can actually like my uh, Facebook page and follow me there. Follow me on Instagram as well, and even on Twitter. And uh, again, share this with a friend. You can call my clinic at 954-370-3100. That's 954-370-3100. You can even email, which I'll put that email address of my lovely clinic assistant. You can email her on the uh, uh, in the office here and uh, she can answer some questions for you. The main purpose for her is to help you schedule an appointment and we're on an average about a three month waiting list here in my clinic. Uh, uh, beyond that, it, she's to find out what I'm doing, how I'm doing, it's not her purpose. That is how we're gonna discuss what we need to do with you and for you and I could share with you my unique method that I practice and all the skills and tools and knowledge that I'm putting into this program to get results like that. Watch the other videos. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna put up some other images on the screen here, screenshots of the other uh, videos I have on my YouTube channel of other patients who are experiencing great uh, changes, great improvements in their function that they've never had before when they've been on their Parkinson's meds. And you deserve to get well too. Your family or friends deserve to get well too. I'm looking forward to helping you. Call my clinic. One more thing, I'm sorry. Uh, before you call, I'll just tell you that insurance does not recognize this unique work that I offer. So this really is an out-of-pocket investment in your own health, your life, your body. And there is nothing I can do about the insurance policy. So this is an out-of-pocket investment in yourself. Okay? Call my clinic again, 954-370-3100. You can send an email to my uh, lovely assistant. She'll be happy to help you get an appointment here. And I look forward to helping you as well. Go ahead and try to sit up. Sit up until I know you can't, but go ahead and try. All right, that's it. Go ahead and try to sit up. Sit up until I know you can't, but go ahead and try. All right, that's it. Go ahead and try to sit up. Sit up until I know you can't, but go ahead and try. How many years has it been All that right, you couldn't do a sit up like this? Oh, it's been, it's been a minute. It's been a what? It's, yeah. 
<laughs> one year, ten years, two years? I'd say about a year. All right. We got a little. <laughs> I guess he's still okay. So right now, again, Mr. Coleman, uh, you've had Parkinson's for how long? Three years. And you've been on medications, dopamine meds for the three years. for three years. And uh, one of your symptoms, one of your disabilities or inabilities was to be able to sit up from a lying position. That is correct. So in this position here on the table, in my exam room, you're lying down. And all that you've been able to do for the past year when you're lying down like this to get up was how much of the body would come up when you were trying Just to? probably my head and shoulders, something like this. That's about it. And then you were stuck there. That was stuck. And right. when you were trying to get up out of bed, what was your habit to get you up out I of bed? I had to either push my hands here or roll over to my side and push off. Well, push and, up. That was the only way. And that was the up. only way to get up. And now what are we able to do right after this exam today? Now I can get this go right up. Man. Like it's no problem. And that's the first time in? First time in a good year. In a good year. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yes, he's